Oh boy, here we go, guys. I got this uh, red Jeep Patriot in here. Look what they have brought me, guys. Here we go, uh, freaking again. This is the CVT unit for this transmission. Wow, this dipstick got a dipstick tube, but it looks bent and broken. In fact, it is bent and broken. So it came from a, as you can see, all this came obviously came from a salvage yard. All right, uh, it's complete. That's no choice but to be complete. You can see a cooler right here, guys. So uh, I'm not sure I have to flush any kind of cooler because that's built onto the unit. Torque converter equipped. So basically all I do is take the old one out and install a new one, guys. But look at this. It is rusty. Guys, this is not our call. This is not our doing. The extended warranty company. Oh, by the way, they had one. Actually shipped this to us. We did not choose this. Okay, so I can't use this. So I'm going to eventually take this off right here and uh, go from there. But it came from a salvage yard, it looked like. All right, so what I'm going to do, guys, I'm going to get all this stripped off of here. <laughs> God, it's, it's hard to judge. It's like people. You can't judge a book by its cover, okay? Just because this look all rusted and beat up doesn't mean it's not going to work or it's not going to shift. But... It doesn't matter. I have to put it in. So, ain't no sense of me complaining. Let's get it put in. All right. I will semi-flush this and uh, connect on and get all this old stuff off of here. All right, guys. I have freaking work to do. So, no sense of me wasting a lot of time. Let's get this thing in the air. And we're going to proceed to... Uh, now, I will not be able to film this, guys. Uh anyway it's just uh i'm just swapping it out i'm not overhauling so it's nothing really technical or fancy about that only the box coming off and the upper bell housing both of course the battery coming out but let me get this thing in the air guys so i can get to it cvt transmission replacement we're gonna talk some more about cvt all right the transmission in general the good the bad and the ugly of the CVT transmission guys stay tuned Ooh, welcome man welcome back I'm back ladies and gentlemen in the process of removing this is a Jeep uh, Patriot something like that but anyway guys it's equipped with the CVT transmission okay now we talked about earlier why I'm on why I'm replacing them getting ready to take it out guys a lot of things you have to do up top first brackets of course the battery was right here so all the air cleaning battery uh housing stuff is right here it's all gone now of course you gotta get the start out the way as far as bell housing there's really only three bolts like right here to get the bell housing and of course you let the upper mount ride until you put a jack supporting jack underneath it but i have this one on this side totally out so i'll be able to reach through here and grab these and hopefully just turn them but yes the PCM had to come the PCM bracket had to come off just to clear uh, this was what was right there so you had to move this in order to even gain access to the upper bolts okay so I got those all shifter all uh, cooler lines off so now it's time to raise the car up and get everything else from the bottom now, I shouldn't have to let it down anymore until installation time all right guys so there's nothing too yanking these out just a little tedious of course the drive axles uh, on the you know you got to take the drive axles out some parts of the suspension so guys ain't no sense talking man let's get with it we got work to do all right guys ran into run into a dilemma on this old thing man um y'all know how these old cars is get rusted i can't even freaking break the connection between the axle and the hub all right, and I don't want to strip that. I think I've already stripped it, but I probably got one more chance to go on with this uh, from a tight standpoint. See, here's the threads. So even if you put this on here and tighten it up with your impact, and I tried to use my, uh, my, uh, my air hammer, you, chance, uh, you, you stand a chance risk ruining the threads but you gotta find a way to get this out of here so you take a big hammer 
and you try that, but only so many swings, you do not want to accidentally hit a stud. So I'm 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 done with that because I hate to have to call this customer back and tell them they need $500 for an extra symbol. That's what this costs. At least that's what it, it cost on the last one I did. So I'm going to try to say that I only got one more chance for that boat to go on and tighten it down. So what I'm going to do, guys, is improvise, okay? I'm taking a whole knuckle assembly off with the axle in it. That's the only way I'm going to get these axle out. I have to get the axle out to replace the transmission. So I'm going to try to separate it from here and the ball joint. Okay, and just bring the whole freaking... I, no, I'm going to leave this connected so I have something connected in general. Just let it, I'm going to have to let it hang, guys. I have no choice. So I'm just showing y'all the improvision that um, I see I tried to let it soak, but it's not going to get in there. So that, that must be married. It's married to that hub. God forbid somebody had to replace this hub bearing. They're going to need a whole axle assembly. All right, obstacle after obstacle, guys. Let's get it. All right, welcome back, guys. Quick update, guys. Quick update. Y'all know where we left off. I was trying to get this out of here. <laughs> no such luck, guys. No matter how much I bang, 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 this would not budge from the hub. The axle head would not budge from the hub. And I'm afraid I have stripped the threads. Oh, my goodness. That's not good. So, guys, I had to go to plan B. And plan B simply was to, because this is a one-piece axle on both sides, I was able to, every now and then, guys, you're going to have to improvise, okay? So you got to take the axle. Of course, the axle has to come out of the trans because this is what you're about to remove. This is what you're about to replace. So knowing that, you simply improvise on the uh, suspension. Just Now, this guy, it's not hanging, so don't panic. Okay, I don't have that hanging. In fact, I'm using a coat hanger to uh, support it. But you got to take this off. I was going to bring it out for here and just let it hang. But this can act as a support. So I have my hub assembly resting on the tie rod and the ball joint. Okay. And I just got it tied in through here with a coat hanger. So I won't put any strain on this. If I had no way to do this, I would simply take the caliper off. Because you don't want pressure or you don't want to stretch this. So I ended up having to do both sides, guys. I could not get either side either of these out i can get the nut off but i could not get it to come through the axle hub so you see that so i would have just a small amount of room to come straight down again i'm not stretching the line got it held on by co hanger all right so guys this transmission is ready to fall out i only have one you see split right here i only have one bell housing bolt holding it okay so as i set my jack up i would be able to just merely loosen this then separate the transmission from the engine. That's about it, guys. All the bolts back here loose. The mounts loose. All the torque converter bolts out. God, we ready to drop it. Y'all ready? All right, man. We might as well get it. Let's get it out together, guys. I'm going to post up. Let's get work. Let's get busy. 